Hey guys and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about SQS redrive policy. What does that mean? Well, let me talk a little bit about that. In my previous video, that is popular async pattern, SQS Lambda DLQ uh, with Python, right? I showed you step by step on how to set up things, right? So we had a Lambda, which was a consumer. Producers were producing messages to SQS. Consumers were co co consuming the messages in batches, right? Now, when the event fails, when, when the consumers fail, the entire batch is um, pushed to a dead letter queue after a certain time, right? Now, the, the redrive policy allows you to essentially put those failed messages back to the source queue so that they could, the consumers can again try this out. I'm gonna show you in this video, so let's learn about that, okay? So uh, if you haven't watched my this video on popular async pattern, I'll leave the links in the description section below. This is the diagram that we're trying to do. It's simple producers producing messages to SQS. We have Lambda, failed messages go to the dead letter queue. All right, so let's do this. <clears throat> so we'll just say long SQS. Okay, uh, yeah, we can put this for four hours, right? Uh, rest everything, I'm gonna leave it to default. I'm gonna create the queue first. So my queue is ready. Now I'm gonna create my DLQ, dead letter queue. Create. Now I'm gonna set the queue. So I'm gonna go to learn SQS. I'm gonna go to dead letter. I'm gonna click on edit. And I'm gonna go to the very bottom. Gonna click on enabled. I'm gonna select my queue URL. Gonna select for one times. And that's pretty much it. Now uh, I'm gonna show you a scenario where uh, the redraw policy will essentially work so uh, you know i do not have a lambda here because in my previous video i did it i mean it's not it's easy right I'm, I'm not putting a lambda here but i want to show you the concept so so i'm, I'm gonna publish a message called born to fail okay so we'll, we'll publish a message so as you can see the message is published right so as you can see now if i refresh my screen it should be there one message available I'm going to poll, so which means I'm manually polling it, which means the consumers are polling it and say it's going to fail. Since we do not have a trigger, definitely there's no consumers, it's going to fail. So it's, it, it's going to drive the message back to the dead letter queue. And then I'm going to be showing you the redrive policy, okay? So let's wait. So there you go, One we have one messages. So now going back to the queue, refreshing. Since again, you, now you can see one message again in flight. We'll again go to the queue send receive messages poll for messages and after this i am pretty sure it would move the message to the dead letter queue at this point okay so let's wait a couple of more minutes i'm gonna go back to the queue still there though okay as you can see now it's in the dead letter queue now i can i can start a dlq redrive which means i can put all the failed messages back to my source queue so redrive to the source queue or, or to a custom destination you can enter a you know a custom uh, sqs if you have uh, if you want to put to the source queue automatically it would put the, those messages to the source queue and then you can click on dlq redrive now if i if i refresh uh, remember it's still in the dlq right now and now, as you can see now, it's back in my SQS queue. So I can again, my consumers now can again poll for messages and uh, you know, there you go. That's your message, one, two, fail. So hope you have enjoyed, you know, tutorials, concept about uh, SQS, dead letter, uh, you know, async patterns that you can use on Amazon Web Services. Um, as I said, uh, I'll try to make more and more contents for you. This was one of the amazing, very well, easy pattern. A lot of companies adopt for SQS, Lambda, dead letter queue. They have a redraft policy. Whenever messages fail, it goes to the dead letter queue. I'll also talk about a poison message. Well, the problem with the poison message is uh, when you essentially put a lot of mess messages to the queue. Now, your Lambda is going to process these messages in batch. Let's say the fourth message in the batch failed. Well, the entire batch is going to be rejected and put to the dead letter queue. But if you don't want that to happen, if you just want that particular message to be put on dead letter queue, well, then you gotta write some custom logic in the catch section where you can say, hey, uh, you know, the fourth message, keep that in the dead letter queue, rest everything, you know, delete it. You gotta put those messages. So that is something about poison messages. 
But essentially this video, I wanted to show you the concept of redrive, uh, uh, you know, redrive policies in SQS. Uh, very, very important, right? Uh, you, can, you can use it to put the failed events back to the source queue and then again try to process that. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, let me know in the comment section below. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next time.